Hello and welcome to my video today. I have a situation that I want to test with the Ocean Link Pro app. I happen to have my navigation locked at my address, which happens to be a common problem that I've had over the last almost two years now. Every once in a while, the navigation gets stuck and it's just at my house. Wherever I drive, it'll still show that I'm still at the house. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to use the app and reset it, or at least I'm going to test it out and see if it works. So let's get started. Previously, I've shown in videos that you can do a reset on the T box that allows you to have the navigation run like normal. And that's a fuse in the cabin fuse box. And I've showed a way of doing a fuse bypass switch that you can access in this area right here. So if you ever have that problem, you just press that switch. It turns off the fuse, everything turns off, and then I can turn it on after a few seconds. One thing I want to see today is if the Ocean Link Pro app can do the reset for the T box. And I'm curious to see if that works with fixing this issue. I know that they're working on a more fuse like reset for this ECU reset that's in the app, but I just want to test the current state of the beta app. So if I look at the Ocean Link Pro, I'm going to open it up. Logging in, I am going to connect. And here we go. So I am going to go into the diagnostics. I'm going to press proceed. And car is in ready mode, so I'm going to press the button here, verifying the VIN and I'm going to press continue. Let me go down to reset ECUs. So I'm going to go down here and then I am going to look for the T box and T box telematics box. I'm going to press reset. One thing you'll notice is when the navigation is stuck, it shows the car located on the street as opposed to on the back of my property where the car actually is. So if the reset actually took place, it would show the car moving to the correct location. And right now it's not. So, so another method I heard is when you're doing the T-Box reset, Continue hitting the reset button, spamming, if you will, the button, and that will actually help it to um, reset and to have the GPS not being locked on that location anymore. So I'm going to try it again. says successfully reset T-Box, but it is not, no, nope, it is still stuck in the same location. Let me try it one more time. and nothing. So unfortunately it is not working on my car. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do the fuse reset and I'll show you the difference of what it does here. So I'm going to take my fuse and turn it off. And now I'm going to turn it back on. 
Put the cover back on. Give it a minute to reset the ICC here. And now, as you can see, it is no longer stuck. If I zoom in, you'll see that the car location is no longer on the road. It's actually where it is at the garage right now, which is behind my house. So I am hoping that in future versions of the software that they can do a full reset for the people that don't have the fuse bypass that's located in this area. In the meantime, I'll continue to use that bypass because it is very easy to use. Just flip the button back and forth. I don't need to go into the fuse box. It's already hooked up. But in the future, I hope to, that is updated and people can use that as a way of resetting a stuck navigation. So that's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.